everybody. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, on this item I picked up at a car boot sale. Well, actually, no, it won't a car boot sale. It was a flea market, uh, my local flea market. Now, I've seen this box on this chap's stand, and uh, usually when you see old boxes like this, they aren't, they're either full of screws and nuts from washers, or they're empty. So, assuming it to be empty. Uh, I looked at the box and it, it looked really interesting. And uh, lo and behold, when I opened the box up, everything were intact. <laughs> it were all original. Um, so I thought, right, this might be a bit more than I want to pay for. Um, so I, I, I asked, I had a look at it and I asked the chap, I says, How much is this then? And he said, uh, well, he didn't say anything. He pointed to a sign on the stall and everything. On that sign, it just said everything on this stall, one pound. So, uh, I mean, I didn't, I, obviously, I didn't know if it worked or not, but I got my pound out of my pocket and I paid the man. It's an antique, vintage, um, plastic bag sealer. And I'm looking at the label, I, I would say, to me, it looks as though it could have been made in 1940s or 50s. Now, there's some, there's no date on it, but there's something inside that that's prompted me to think that date, besides the label, and I'll show you that in a minute. And what this is, it's a, it's an Acro pyro bit, electric roller type plastic sealer. Now there's a mouthful for you, and it's made by the Acro Electric Tool Manufacturing Company Limited, Damings Road, Councillor Lane, Cheadle, Cheshire, Great Britain. And on the box label it says it cuts and heats seals, polythene cellulose film, and most modern plastics, quick, efficient and simple. Uh, use a barrier film between the between the item that you're sealing. Voltage 240 stroke 250, watts 45. So there you go, a vintage tool there for one pound. So I'll open the box up and we'll have a look. It's in its original box and I couldn't believe it when I opened the box up. It's, it's all original. It's, it's it's all in nice condition, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute, but it's got the original, original instruction leaflet telling you what it's for and how to use it. And there's two types of this, this sealer, there's an electric roller, which this one is, and then they did a knife edge plastic sealer, that's the bottom one. Uh, so that tells you everything about it and what to do. Uh, and on the other side, it gives you a list of the the two items and all the relevant spare parts you might need for it. Now, in them days, you didn't do it, just buy something and throw it away. It were it were well made, and uh, you got your spares with it if you wanted to to buy spares. Uh, um, back in the day. This item was two pound, two shillings, and no pence. If you wanted the knife edge plastic sealer, that was three pound, two shillings, and no pence. Uh, and then there's your, all your spares. So I'll I'll just run this through this with you then. Um, it's all original. It's a nicely turned beech handle. With with a probably a bakelite or plastic type uh, rear end on it. It's got an element, and on that element sits this adapter, and you can put different rollers in it, or well, you could buy different rollers or cutters. And what it does, it just eats that element up. And then uh, apparently this acts like a, a very simple thermostat. 
the closer it is to the handle the hotter this gets and the further away you fasten it the, the cooler it is so it's like a very simple type of thermostat uh, it's got nicely engraved what it is the voltage the wattage and on the other side it's all nicely engraved the name of the company and the place Cheadle Cheshire and the cable well to start with this this rubber sleeve on outlet usually rubber perishes after a time but this is in really good nick and cables in good condition and then we come to plug on end and look at this this is what's prompting me to think it's back to 40s and 50s it's got this plugging type um, plug that you plugged into your light socket in your house now I'm sure in 50s they had 3 pin sockets or 2 pin sockets so that's what's prompting me to think it's probably I would say 40s or 50s which is making it if it, even if it's only 1950 it's still nearly 80 year old no 70 year old sorry it's still 70 year old and look at condition it's in it's in really nice condition a lovely made vintage tool now I've give a pound for it now the proof will be in the pudding if it works and I've not tried it yet because I've got to make an adapter to fit on this because I'm not going to destroy this this end this has been with it for all its life and I'm not proposing to take that off I believe in keeping things original if I can so what I'm going to do I'm going to have a rummage around my box and try and find a light fitting for a bulb a bulb holder and see if I can well and then make an adapter up so I'll just go and have a look and make this adapter and be back with you, well, two seconds to you. Right, I've had a rummage around my box and I've found this light fitting. I've put a three pin plug on and I've put a three amp fuse in it. So what happens is this this just this is just like a light bulb fitting, the old bayonet type. It just slots in and twists. So now I can plug it into mains. So I'll plug it into mains and on instructions it says it takes a couple of minutes to heat up. So while that, while I'm waiting for a couple of minutes I'll just find a plastic bag and something suitable to seal and I'll be back with you to you in a couple of seconds. Right, I'm back. Uh, two, two or three minutes for me, two seconds for you. Now on these instructions it says allow the appliance to warm up for about two minutes to get to the required heat. I think actually I wanted a bit more than two minutes but um, we'll try it anyway. So what you have to do uh, it says the plastic you're sealing it needs to be covered in a non-sealing cell cellulose film placed between the material and the heated roller. Now, I've just been rummaging around my box and I found this piece of glass fibre tape. It's like a bandage type glass fibre. I was going to use that uh, to put on it like that. Now then... I noticed in box there was some plastic in bottom and I just thought that were um, the plastic bag it was you know it came in packaging right on closer inspection I've took a piece out and it's this this crinkly plastic so I'm assuming I'm assuming this is the protective barrier that you put in and I, I'm just amazed after 70 years that this is still in box if it is that, and I'm assuming it is because it feels, it don't feel like it, it feels crinkly. Anyway, I'm going to try it. So, it says on instructions to cover the, cover the part of the bag that you're doing, 
and then just apply a light pressure um, and slowly roll the seal to seal so we'll try it I think you just need a bit of practice on what speed to go at it's first time I've used it anyway that so let's have a look oh, I don't want to burn wire after that many years so let's have a look Yeah, it's done a perfect seal. Yeah. So this plastic here is what you actually use to, to run, run the, the roller over. Ah, so there you go. And after all that, for, after 70 years in a box, it's still in working order and still as good as new. Um, now... I was thinking about this and I don't see any reason why when this has took off, this roller, if I made a little uh, um, copper adapter for end I could use it as a soldering iron. So it will have dual purpose now I've got it. Anyway, uh, there you go. It's the Acru Pyro bit electric roller type plastic sealer um, probably 70 to 80 years old in its original box with all its original fittings even its original uh, protective cover for doing sealing, sealing on and its original instructions with all prices on uh, so that was well worth a pound in my eyes Anyway, I hope you find that of interest to anybody that's interested uh, in vintage and antique things. But I'm amazed that I found that in that condition after this many years. Uh, so, I think that's the end of this little uh, session then. I'll sign off for now then, and if you've not seen me other videos, take a look at them if you're interested in what what I've been doing and what I get up to and if I find anything else on flea market I'll probably do another little video and uh, show you if you if you're interested so thanks for watching and uh, I'll sign off for now then bye